Kosana. Buccaneers faithful roaring them on. Bachelet in ahead of Ntlanya. Ntawali, great goal! Oh, that is magnificent! <laughs> Top corner. Ernest Mtawali is uh, in the studio. Yeah, what a footballer in his days. Uh, the 90s at Sundowns, the, the uh, late 80s at Bloom Celtic, and what a long career he had there. Pirates, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, France. Uh, you are here! And we saw the dreadlocks there. When did you cut them? Uh, I think I, I cut them, uh, it was 2013, when I went back home to uh. Malawi, because I was involved with the, with, the, with the national team there. So national coach home. must, uh, <laughs> must <laughs> look like... <laughs> no, look, look, uh, the, the dreadlocks were, were, was my hairstyle then. Uh. Um, I'm not, I've, I've never been a Rasta. No, I'm not <laughs> saying you're a Rasta, but you just said something interesting, yeah? You, 2013, you went back to Malawi, yes. saying football, and my playing days are behind me, and I now want to give back and also take my football and skills to another level. What did you do? Look, before, before I went back home, uh, I think I started, I started coaching back then. It was 2001, 2002, mm. when I went to Bluefontein Celtics. Uh, Jimmy gave, an gave me an opportunity to coach uh, Celtics. They, they were in the Jimmy National Augusti. First Division. Yes, they were in the National First Division then. I, I spent a year there, and then I started, after, the, after a year, I started doing my coaching courses because it, was, it has always been my dream, you know, after playing, 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 my playing career, I would like to, to go into coaching. Uh, and then from there, I think it was about in 2000, uh, 2006, it's when I was assistant to uh, the left field, Phil Masinga uh -huh. at, at PJ Studs. And then in 2009, I was involved with, uh, I coached Alexander United from 2009 up to 2011. Uh -huh. And then uh, from there, I think in 2011, 2012 is when I got an opportunity to go and become the scout for my middle sundowns. Uh, but then in 2013, I got a call from, from the president of farm in Malawi. The uh, to Malawian Football Association? Mal Malawian Football Association, yes, to, to go and assist uh, together with Patrick Mabedi. Mm. And uh, I saw it as an opportunity because uh, those are the people who, who started empower, empowering me in terms of uh, uh, coaching qualifications. In 2008, I went to England in a little, little short to go and do my FRB licenses. Your FRB? So you've got your FRB license? I've licenses? got my FRB licenses, yes. And then uh, in 2013, when I was assisting uh, the national team, uh, I had an opportunity with uh, Patrick Mabedi to go to Hanif in Germany, where I did my UEFA A license. And so it's I, just a pro license that's left now to do? Yes, it's a pro license. Uh, when we talk about pro license, we, uh, I think we're talking about the CAF pro license. Because for me, I think it's either the criteria that they use mostly is the people that who have who've got a European passport that they go and uh, uh, attend the Eurofia, UEFA Pro Alliances. What do you want to see yourself achieved from uh, the coaching perspective? Look, you did I've, everything in football, on the field. What do you want to achieve off the field now as a coach? It's, 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 to, it's, to, it's to work uh, with uh, any team, uh, whether it's a uh, youngsters, to be part of any technical team. Uh, I think I'm ready now. Mm. Uh, uh, to, to impart the knowledge that I've gained in this. I've, I've, I was very privileged, privileged to have played my soccer in this beautiful country, Mzasi, and the support that I got from the people, mm. uh, it was uh, superb. I was very happy with everything. So, as you look at the visuals here, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Best player you ever played against? Look, uh, there are a couple of them. Uh, when, when, I, when I first came to South Africa, I must say, the, when I was a young boy, I used to read about a lot about Essence Zelenga and Jomo Sono. Uh -huh. And uh, the first person that I watched playing in, in this country was when Jomo was playing for Diono Cosmos, his own team. And I was impressed by him. And uh, I think so far, the best player that I've watched in this country is Jomo Sono. Wow. Best coach you've ever worked with when you were a player? <laughs> They, they quite a lot, uh, but when you talk about the local coach, uh, it, it must be Eskrima Shamalala. He brought the best out of me when I was playing for Sundowns, and uh, I was, it was an honor for me to be the captain of the team since I joined them from Blue Fountain Celtics in 1989. Yes, I think Eskrima was the best. The club, that one day you look back at your football career in South Africa and say, I loved playing for that club more than the others. Which club would that be? <sighs> You were at Celtic, Super Sport United, Orlando Pirates. Uh, Look, uh, you've I, been I, around I, I, Ajax, Cape Town. I, th I think I should, I should, it should be Bluefontein Celtics. 
Uh, mind you, I joined, I joined Bluefontein Celtics. That was in 1984. That mm -hmm. was in, in NPSL. Mm -hmm. Uh, I joined them from Velcom Hearts Limited. I spent about, I, I came in this country in 1983. I joined Velcom Hearts Limited. Uh, Sheikh Mashaba was the coach, player coach then. Yeah. And the following year, it's when I ended up at Bluefin and Uh in, in, two, in, in 1984, Celtics, you know, it was a year team. They were struggling uh -huh. each and every year going back from first division back to second division. But since we joined them and when we, the, the uh, Petrus Mremea reinforced the club, with some quality players, uh, the Eden Kadangos from uh, Mozambique. Uh, uh. Uh, there were so many good players then. What made you love it though? What, what the, the made you the, love playing for South? The, the following year, it's the first time for a Free State Cup to have won the Men's State Cup. And I was the football of the year, City uh. Press Football of the Year 1985. And then three, down, three, three years down the line again in 1988, when I won the Players Player of the Year award in this country. People won't forgive me if I don't ask you this question. So I'm going to throw it to you and you tell me what you think. But there was all that thing about the name, Chirwali, <laughs> Mtawali. Uh, what was going on? There was a time when they said they're kicking you out of the country because you got six IDs. What was happening back then? No, really, uh, to be honest, uh, when, when I was born, uh, I was born from a South African mother. My mother, she's from Gladfield. She's a Mtiani. My father is a Malawi and I was born, I was born in Malawi. Uh -huh. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the Chirwali because Chirwali is a clan name. Uh, um, the Mtawali, but the Mtawali is all, the Mtawali is there from the clan name is Chirwali. So uh -huh. th there's nothing wrong even today when people call me Chirwali or Mtawali. No, mm. There's nothing wrong with but that. But they made so much drama about it at the time. Clubs were even scared to put you on the field. Go, hey, I'm a documents, papers, I'm Nandang. No. <laughs> Why were they so fearful? No, I, re I really don't understand. But uh, no, really, it, uh, it, it was never an issue with me. I, it, it, I, even my parents as well, or my relatives, they could understand that, no, we are Chirwalis. Which was the better player? Ernest Chirwali or Ernest Mtawali? <laughs> I think both. <laughs> <laughs>